So this beautiful camera, the Leica M11P, was just announced. But what got me excited was not the camera in itself, but one of its features. I have never seen this feature implemented in any camera before, but I got really excited because this is something I have wanted. As you know, I sometimes make videos about AI generated images and how they kind of ruin photography because now they are becoming so good that they can fool most people. So basically it's impossible to tell whether a photograph is a real photograph taken with a real camera by a real human documenting a real event or if it's just made with an AI tool in like five seconds or a mix of the two. And this kind of ruins journalism and uh, many genres of photography because you can never prove that something is a real photograph. And believe it or not, but I have a degree in computer science, so I know that it is possible to create a system to prove whether a photograph is real or not. And what this new Leica camera has is that system. I started reading up on this and I learned about the Content Authenticity Initiative, which is an initiative with many different companies involved. Adobe is involved, Leica and also Nikon. I think even the Z9 might have support for this already. And what this initiative is all about is that the camera should be able to sign a photograph at the point where you're taking it. It will embed information about when it was taken and the camera settings and all of that. And that will be cryptographically signed so it's impossible to tamper with this information and change it after the fact. And together with this they also have an online service where you can upload any image file and verify if this indeed was uh, a real photograph and view the details about it. And since Adobe is also on board with this, you can also see the different steps taken with a photograph. So if I took a photo on uh, Leica M11P at a certain date, that will be embedded into that file. And then if I go home and do some small changes in Lightroom, maybe I increase the exposure and lift the shadows or whatever, no big changes, that can also be recorded into the image file and anyone with access to the image can just verify it by themselves uh, using Adobe's online service. And I'm so excited and happy about this initiative because I think it's really, really needed right now as we're entering this new age where anyone one can fabricate any photograph and make it look so realistic that most people would be fooled. And I really hope that the other camera brands such as Sony, Canon and so on will also join this initiative. The nice thing is that it is an open standard. Anyone can implement it into their camera if they want to. There are also open source tools available for for example verifying if a photo is authentic or not and this is great I think. This is exactly what needs to be done and I really hope that this standard can be something that lasts and that gets used and that becomes like a de facto standard for verifying if a photograph is real or not. So how does this all work? Well, it kind of works on two layers or levels and you can use any of them or both of them to secure your photo. So the first level or layer or what you should call it is um, the embedding of this cryptographic information into the actual image file. So for example I use a Leica M11P camera, I take a photograph of something and then the information about what time it was taken and the uh, lens settings and exif date and all of that gets embedded into the image file itself. And then if anyone uh, gets this photo uh, and chooses to upload it to the verification tool online, they will see all that information exactly. And they will be able to trust that this information is 100% 
correct. And uh, this is basically the same kind of security mechanisms as credit cards or bank logins and so on. So it is very secure. But then as you might probably be thinking by now, anyone could just screenshot that image and create a new image without that information in it. Uh, or for example, if I find an image in a printed newspaper that will of course not have that information embedded in it because I don't see the whole file when I look at the photo in a newspaper. And of course they have thought about this and they made a really good solution I think and this is the level 2 or layer 2 of security. Basically Adobe has this online database where you can register your uh, photographs. So then even if I just have a screenshot of a photo or a copy of it or um, a scan from a newspaper, I can upload that to Adobe's service and verify that image. And it will look in its database for any image that looks very, very similar to that image, which should mean that it is the same image. And then you can actually view the same data that was recorded when the photograph or image was created. So I think this is really excellent. And I'm really looking forward to seeing more about how this develops. I know a lot of big newspapers and organizations have already adopted this standard. And so far, as I said, Leica and Nikon has jumped on board. And I really, really hope that Sony, Canon, Panasonic and so on will also join this movement because then we might have a viable standard that we can use for many years to come to be able to verify if a photograph is real or not. Then of course it's up to anyone if they want to use this standard or not when they're taking photos. So of course there will be lots and lots of real authentic photographs out there that are real and authentic but you're unable to verify it because they weren't embedding this information in the image files. There is however one way I think you could possibly fool this system. First of all, when it comes to the timestamp of a photo, you can of course set the time to whatever you want in your camera and you can fake that uh, to some extent. Uh, and also I'm thinking like if I would want to fool this system, what I would probably do would be to generate a fake image, either using Photoshop or an AI tool or something. And then I would print it in a, a large format with good detail and everything. And then I would simply put my Leica M11P on a tripod and photograph that printout. I mean, that would to some extent be able to fool this system, uh, I think. I haven't tried it, of course, but uh, yeah, we need to think about how that can be avoided as well. Anyway. I was just excited about this, I wanted to share. What do you think? Do you think this will become a global standard for photographic authentic authenticity or not? Please comment below and let me know what you think. See you soon again, bye bye.